At this point in time, do you find yourself doing a lot more deploying of capital? Or are you looking at the future and saying, you know what, there's a lot of uncertainty out yeah. there, a lot of you know confusion surrounding where valuations are headed, where they should be. I'm gonna sit in, you know, on the sidelines for a little bit. You know, it is always hard to come back from a period as rough as the period that SoftBank, we collectively had in technology over the last couple of years. It's always hard to jump back in with confidence. Um, I don't think we've done a great job of jumping back in with confidence. Um, I, I think it's been an interesting period of time where we're all sitting here wondering why isn't the consumer softer than it is? It doesn't really make any sense. You watch the type of inflationary pressure people have been uh, a position to absorb. You watch all of these economic indicators and you say the consumer should be softer and yet we have been fundamentally pretty resilient. And so after absorbing that disconnect between data that we all ingest and the reality of what we're seeing in our, in our consumer company behavior, uh, patterns, you, you start to say it's, it's time to get over this and move forward. And so I think we are watching uh, not only that we're not falling into a, a hard landing or a deep recession, um, but we're watching all of this really fascinating innovation start to change uh, businesses in a way that gets us excited to reinvest. And so we are back in market. We're proactively thinking about how do we deploy capital. It's very different than 2020, 2021. Um, you know, I think the expectations around what does a PL, what does a balance sheet look like have changed dramatically. Um, but we're excited to be investing in this period. And so we're spending a lot of time on, on that new outbound throw. So you're focused much more on profitability, EBITDA, maybe yeah. less about top line growth, but more about just, you know, kind of fundamentals, discounted cash flow, you know, the it's, we are never, as a venture class, going to be focused on discounted, discounted cash flow. It's just <laughs> never going to be one of the big uh, model markers that we build into. I, I do think um, the bar is very high right now for companies to raise money because everyone is still looking for growth. At the same time, we are looking for burn profiles that are uh, coverable by the private markets. And so, you know, I think the expectation isn't that we are going to back profitable companies. It's going to be that we are going to back companies that we can cover with our investment or maybe a subsequent investment that's relatively small. You know, if you look back in history, companies were getting funded that had a burn profile that went on for eight, nine years and, you know, really chunky amounts. And I think that's very difficult today.